Welcome to another video from Maths World Education and uh, this video is the answer to uh, 1G from the maths, um, maths admissions test paper of 2018. <coughs> Excuse me. So, what's it talking about? It's saying that the parabolas with equations y equals x squared plus c and y equals x squared touch and that is meet tangentially tangentially, yeah, at a single point. It follows that c equals which of those following options. So, like, I'm just going to do a quick sketch uh, just to see uh, exactly what's going on. I find that most of pro most of these problems like this, doing a sketch, always uh, helps understand visually uh, what sort of behaviour is taking place. So here we've got the graph. So first of all, we've got y squared equals x. Uh, so that's simply simply just y equals x squared, which is rotated, and um, we've got that in the xy plane, and then we've got this uh, y equals x squared plus c, uh, so we can see uh, at some point it's going to cross the x-axis, and uh, we can see this is point c, uh, and this is the point here where both of these curves actually uh, touch tan uh, tangentially. Uh, that base all that all that's basically saying. Uh, the formal definition of that is that the gradients of both of the curves are actually the same at that point. Um, but let's just first of all let's <clears throat> let's try and get rid of the y and uh, combine these two uh, equations and see what we actually see what we actually get. So y if, if y squared equals x, um, well I'm going to write these. Rewrite, rewrite these equations out. So we've got y equals x squared plus c, uh, and then we've got this y squared equals x. So what we could do, we could say, um, we could say that y is actually equal to x to the half. Uh, so therefore, uh, and then just plug this into uh, this equation here. Uh, so we've actually got x to the half equals x squared plus c and then and then c uh, would be equal to um, x to the half minus x squared. Uh, the problem is with that though um, that's all it really tells us really we don't uh, we need to know what x is to find out what c uh, is and yeah, we can't really do much else. So we need something else to actually uh, to actually work with here. And it's given away a huge clue here. It's saying because both of the curves meet tan tangentially, <clears throat> then we know that uh, we know that the gradients are the same, which means that the, the derivatives of both the curves will also be uh, equal to the same uh, as well. So what that means, uh, if we uh, differentiate equation one, uh, so differentiating equation one, uh, we'll get dy by dx uh, is equal to 2x. And then if we differentiate uh, the second uh, curve, again, we get dy by dx is going to be equal to half x to the minus a half. Now, uh, that basically tells us uh, that both of these derivatives will be equal to each other uh, precisely when 2x equals a half x to the minus a half. So if we actually times both sides by 2x to the um, half, what we actually get is 4x to the 3 over 2 equals... Um, Let's have a look. Uh, you're going to have a half times 2, which is 1. x to the minus half times x to the half is x to the 0, which is equal to 1. Uh, so therefore, x uh, to the 3 over 2 equals 1 over 4. Uh, so therefore, x will be equal to... Uh, I'm going to... All right, let's get this. Let's get this right. That's going to be 1 over 4 times 2 over 3. So that, this is the value for x when 
<clears throat> both of the uh, gradients are actually the same. But that's great news. We've already got this. Um, we've already got this equation uh, here. So all we got to do is substitute uh, equation four into equation three, and we are good to go. Uh, so it's sub four into three. Uh, so therefore, c will be equal to x to the half. So that's going to be uh, one over four to the power of a third minus x squared, which is going to be 1 over 4 to the power of uh, 4 over 3. So what we need to do now, we need to sort of rewrite uh, this uh, in a bit more of a sensible uh, form, don't we? So what we've got is going to be uh, 1 divided by uh, the cube root of 4 minus 1 divided by uh, that's actually going to be 4 times the cube root of 4. Now, what we can do now is uh, create a common denominator. Uh, so to do that, uh, we need to have uh, 4 times the cubed root of 4 at the bottom, uh, and then we'll have a 4 on the first term on the numerator, minus 1, uh, so it's actually 3 over 4 times the cube root of 4 and that is actually the value for c. So what we do, what we need to do uh, now is go back to the options and see whether we've got uh, see whether we've actually got that and you can see in um, option b uh, is our final answer. So I hope you found uh, that video helpful guys. Uh, if you've got any questions just give me a, uh, just drop me a comment in the comment section below and I will get back to you. Please leave a like in this video and subscribe to my channel and I shall see you in the next uh, part of question one.